one stop, a family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Since Scott's opened the door, Gary, a little dance history and where did this come from? Um, I don't know. We kind of just, I don't know, we like to have fun out there and pregame I just told everybody that's what we would do if we scored and I ended up scoring so we just did it and I don't know, it's gone pretty viral so far and it's pretty funny to see so I don't know, we just like to have fun out there as a team and I mean if we're going in we can have fun so it's a pretty good combination. Are you surprised, if you mentioned the going viral, are you surprised at the number of people that have picked it up? Uh, I think, I mean, I am. I didn't think that would be on ESPN or anything just because, I don't know, it's kind of a subtle, quick thing to do and, I don't know, this is exciting to see though. You're a guy that kind of, I think, appreciates the landscape of college football. What Matt Johnson's been able to do, um, what's it been like to watch and be part of what Matt's done so far? Um, it's kind of been unbelievable just to see uh, from not playing a whole a whole year to coming in and being the best quarterback in college football, it's just uh, very exciting to see. And I mean, it's something we all expected of, of him just because of how hard he works in the off season and all the film uh, hours he puts in with Coach Babers and Coach Lewis. So um, honestly, it's just been unbelievable to see. But at the same time, we've kind of expected it, so it somewhat is believable. Do you guys, do you guys as a team, do you guys talk to him about? Heisman campaign, things like that? Uh, kind of. We, I mean, we give him a hard time about it, but I mean, it's nothing that, I mean, we're all, we're all pretty good teammates, so I mean, it's not too serious, but at the same time, I mean, the numbers he's put up and the success that he's had, I mean, I think he's a pretty good candidate, if you ask anybody on our team. With so many uh, different guys being able to catch the ball and make plays, how do you think that affects the other team when they see you guys line up and know that it's a passing play? Um, I think it's pretty hard for defenses to cover us just because of how many weapons we have on the offensive side. Um, I mean, as you guys have seen, anybody in our offense can have a great game and the rest of us have a I mean, pretty good game in um, other offenses. So, I don't know, it's just hard for defenses to cover all of us at the same time because, I mean, we all work so hard in the off season to get to where we are are at right now, so um, I don't know. I just think that it's a hard thing to do to stop our offense right now, especially that we're in the zone, we're, we're rolling, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. Does it feel any different now than it did you know, a month ago, five weeks ago, at the beginning of the season? Uh, I think it does. Uh, just Coach Baber says that his second season in games four through six is when his offenses see like the biggest, uh, biggest step, and I mean, that's exactly what it's been. We've been having a lot of success on offense, and we uh, we hope to continue that the rest of the season. How does it feel different, though? Um, it just feels like we're, I feel like we're slowing the game down a little bit. Um, I think all the receivers and, I mean, everybody in offense knows exactly what the defense is going to be doing. And, I mean, our coaches are calling the great plays to get us open. And once they call those plays, we can see exactly what they're doing on defense. And, I don't know, we kind of know what's going to happen before the play even starts. When you say, it's kind of funny to hear you say the word slowing it down, Gary. What, what do you mean when you're slowing it down? Um, just when we're out there, a lot of, I mean, we have a lot of younger guys that get in at the end of the game, and the game's going super fast to them. And the older guys that have played in, I mean, this offense know that if you know what the defense is going to do, then you know what your route's going to be before the ball's even snapped. And, I mean, all of our routes have different, uh, different options to do and like the younger guys just are act they're they're running and they they're kind of hesitant but us older guys we know what we're going to do and it's just easier to play fast which slows the game down uh i mean i don't really know how to explain that no i, I think i actually hear what you're saying I mean, basically it's you see the defense mm -hmm. that tells each receiver what route they're going to yeah. run and it's as long as you and well, you being the receivers, as long as the receivers and Matt read the same thing, he knows what you're running yep. and he knows who he's going to throw it to, or at least who the yeah. most likely option. Yeah, that's exactly it. We just, 
I mean, we're to the point where we know, based on what they're giving us pre-snap, that what we're going to run. And then once the ball snapped, we just go with it, and most of the time it's successful. I'd like to also ask about the turnovers because for the you guys have run an incredible number of plays, mm -hmm. and yet you're still you have a, if it's either tied or the most, fewest turnovers in the league. What's what's been the key to not turning it over? Um, a lot of it is Maddie just being smart with the ball, and a lot of it's the offensive line giving Matt great protection. And uh, I mean, nothing other than just playing smart and not forcing anything on offense, which is what maddie has been doing this year just because, I mean, he knows where, where we're going to be on the, uh, and he's going to read the defense, so he's not going to force the ball into anybody and cause a turnover, which could hurt our team. I think uh, Derek last week said he had the best hair on the team. Uh, your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, I think I'm, I'm up there with the best hair. Uh, I'm working on the best beer right now. I think Maddie and uh, Alex Huddle, and I think Ryan Burr brings up there. So, I mean, we're just having fun and just, I don't know, just having fun, doing different things. Well, uh, how encouraged are you by the 3-0 start in the conference? Um, it feels really good. Uh, we expected to be here in this situation. Um, we had a pretty tough non-conference schedule to start the year, but, I mean, we, ca we came out of it okay. I think that we could have won a, I think we could have won one of the games, but um, I'm pretty happy where, we're, where we are right now when we got another big game ahead of us this week facing the uh, number one defense in the MAC. When you mentioned that non-conference, are seeing what Memphis did this past weekend, is that fresh wound again? Uh, some of us it is. I mean, a lot of us moved on, but I mean, a lot of us in the back of our heads are thinking we easily could have won that game. And uh, I mean, Memphis is having a great season so far. They've knocked off a couple great teams. so. I mean, it's just, it's good to see that they're, I mean, that them beating us just wasn't a, a fluke game. So it's good to see.